Welcome to the Telium Challenger series. Today we'll be talking about split segmentation and how you can use this for A-B testing against audiences and MarTech vendors. My name is Neeraj Kabul and I'm a Senior Solutions Consultant here at Telium. In the marketplace today, there are currently thousands of technology vendors you can choose to work with. We find that the average company at present has more than 20 different technology vendors. This can cause a lot of complexity within your organization because you have a number of audiences you need to work with and of course there's some overlap between the marketing technologies that you're currently using. Telium can help to optimize the audiences that you choose to use and test to ensure they're giving you value to your business and allow you to consolidate the technologies that you're working with if there's some overlap either with functionality that they serve or potentially to allow you to reduce costs. The solution we'll be talking about today is how we can use split segments to A-B test an audience, A-B test marketing technology vendors, and of course pass those measurements back to an analytics vendor so you can understand the outcome of those tests. So this is the Telium Universal Data Hub where we'll be creating a split segment and assigning values against that in real time and using this to test audiences and different MarTech vendors. Firstly, navigate to Attributes, and from here, select Add Attribute. Select Continue under a Visitor Attribute, and then select String. Name this String Split Segment. Now the enrichments allow us to manipulate this string value according to some rules that you can define here. We'll be concentrating on split string today. Now you need to assign whatever splits you'd like, for example A and B, but this must total 100. So I'm going to add control. And as you can see now, we've got an A, B, and control segment, which will be assigned in real time for a total of 100% of the visitors. And this will be done entirely randomly. And so you can now use this to test audiences and different MarTech vendors, which I'll show you in a moment. Next, navigate to audiences. You can see we have a number of examples. I'm going to use this audience as an example for people who've navigated and viewed men's products. We want to test this to a small sample of data instead of every single visitor. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to add an end condition to this. And I'll look for the split segment I just created. And so I might want to test this to 33%, a random 33% of the visitors. And so as we define that as A or B, you can add one of those segments. And done. You've now created an audience which will only consider that random 33% we initially defined. So we can also use this to test two of the same type of MarTech vendor or two different channels uh, for a specific audience. So the example I'm going to show you here is Carter Banner segment A and Carter Banner segment B. And all I've done in a similar fashion is create a split segment, call it A and B within these audiences. I can now come to my connectors and so I can associate those audiences against MarTech vendors from the same channel or two different channels to ensure that I'm getting the most out of my marketing stack and the customer experience is being maximized as much as possible. So with exact target, I can choose to push these two customers of Carter Banners A. And for Facebook, I can push them to the audience for Carter Banners for B. Now once this is done, you'll of course want to understand holistically how Split A and Split B is performing against the different channels 
Um, so what you can do is you can pass those values to an analytics vendor. So for example, Google Analytics. And so what I've done is I've created um, two actions to push out the Carter Banders A and Carter Banders B as event level data to Google Analytics. So you can see what we've done is we've defined it against the same audience. You add in your additional Google tracking IDs, etc., etc. But in the custom dimensions section, I've selected that split segment and I've assigned it against a uh, field value. And I've done this as well for um, the split segment for B as well. And that's now gone to, to field 11. And so now what you'll find is all this data will be sent to Google Analytics. So you can now see overall how both of those different uh, segments are performing and then make a longer term decision in terms of which option is best for you, how should you adjust your strategy and overall this will allow you to consolidate your costs in terms of the marketing vendors you're using, allow you to be much smarter in terms of the audiences that you're using and allow you to be much more strate strategic in terms of your digital stack. We hope you enjoyed watching this video on how you can easily create split segments to test audiences, different MarTech vendors, and to pass this back to analytics to understand those segments. If you have a challenge in mind, you can share this on telium.com forward slash challenge. Thank you.